Ah, cake and milk. If only there was some sort of way to combine these two into one delicious treat. Wait a minute, there is. Don't worry, there's an even better way. Trace Leche's Cakes will always have a special place in my heart. Trace Leche's Cakes was the dish that kickstarted my love for cooking. And who knows, it could do the same for you. But you're not going to be the next Rosanna Panzina if I keep blabbing on. So, let's get started. Let's turn on the oven and set it for 350 degrees. And if you're living in a socialist wasteland, the number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. First things first, the cake. For the cake, you'll need one stick of butter, two cups of cake flour, one cup of sugar, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, five eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and we're gonna combine it all together in a stand mixer. If you're using a stand mixer, make sure you use the paddle attachment. If you need one, I'll put a link in the description. First thing you gotta do is let the butter come to room temperature. And here's a little hack. Just cut the butter into little cubes and it'll come to room temperature much faster. And while you let that come to room temperature, we can get the other stuff ready. As it softens, let's add the one cup of sugar. In a separate bowl, combine all the dry ingredients. So, our two cups of cake flour. teaspoon and a half of baking powder and a bit of salt. Mix it together with a whisk. Also in a separate bowl, crack your five eggs in here. Finally, get a 9 by 13 baking tray, glass preferably, Take some butter, grease this baby up. Add a little bit of flour. Cover it with a tea towel. Shake it about. Dump out the excess flour. Boom, ready for our batter. Once the butter has softened, let's cream the mixture on high. <laughs> Looks like raining mayonnaise, you're good. Using a rubber spatula, let's scrape off the butter and sugar off the paddle and the sides of the bowl. Set the mixer to medium low speed. And slowly add our egg. The egg has been incorporated to do this for the next egg. You might have to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Sides of the bowl one last time just to be safe. Now to add the dry ingredients. What you want to do is add it in batches. So let's do the first batch. Add our next batch. Next batch. And our final batch. Scrape down the sides of the bowl one last time. <laughs> this baby's now ready for a pan. Yeah, don't want this excess batter to go to waste, so... And now, we pour our batter into the bowl. And once you do that, stick it in the middle of our 350 degree oven. And let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Once that's done... 
check the doneness with, of course, a toothpick. Nice, but maybe I need a second opinion. Yep, it's done. Take this out of the oven and let it cool for 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's get the tres leches ready. What are the tres leches? Evaporated. Sweet and Just take one can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, and finally, one cup of half and half. yourself some long bamboo skewers or metal ones doesn't matter and poke away step two pour our milk mixture over the cake sure it looks like a flooded mess right now but give it time now let's whip up a batch of sweet whipped cream Perfect. And place the whipped cream onto our cake. Ah, uh, this cake is bringing back some memories. Back to the summer of 2009 when I first got my interest in cooking. It was a different time. A time when having 16 gigs of storage on your iPhone was considered a status symbol. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. <laughs> <laughs>